entitled Welfare Slobs Loot Miami but scatter like cockroaches when these cops show up. Video tragedies can be a time when people come together for the common good. We certainly saw it during Hurricane Harvey and during September 11th. But sometimes tragedy and natural disasters bring out the worst in people. That seems to be the case in certain parts of Florida and the Caribbean during these terrible hurricanes. That seems to be the case in certain parts of Florida and the Caribbean during these terrible hurricanes. Local 10 ABC News reported the following. Fort Lauderdale police arrested nine people caught by Local 10, cameras looting Fort Lauderdale business despite the dangerous winds and heavy rain from Hurricane Irma. Local 10 cameras caught a group breaking into the Simons Sportswear on Sunrise Boulevard and Powerline Road. The group then began looting a footlocker and Cash America Pond store in the same area. Hours later, the Fort Lauderdale Police Department tweeted that they had caught the criminals. Going to prison over a pair of sneakers is a fairly bad life choice, said Fort Lauderdale Police Chief Rick Maglioni. Stay home and look after your loved ones and be thankful they are all safe. Hours later, the Fort Lauderdale Police Department tweeted that they had caught the criminals. Going to prison over a pair of sneakers is a fairly bad life choice, said Fort Lauderdale Police Chief Rick Maglioni. Stay home and look after your loved ones and be thankful they are all safe. The Broward Sheriff's Office immediately reacted to Local 10's report, tweeting, Attention looters, every incident will be investigated. Evidence collected will be used to pursue charges after the fact. Meanwhile, the Pembroke Pines Police Department issued a stern warning, tweeting any looters who come to Pembroke Pines will be greeted by our officers. Choose wisely and stay home. South Florida law enforcement officials promised to police the streets to prevent looting, but with unsafe winds currently pummeling the region, it's not known if units are currently on patrol. Attention looters, every incident will be investigated. Evidence collected will be used to pursue charges after the fact. Meanwhile, the Pembroke Pines Police Department issued a stern warning tweeting any looters who come to Pembroke Pines will be greeted by our officers. Choose wisely and stay home. South Florida law enforcement officials promised to police the streets to prevent looting, but with unsafe winds currently pummeling the region, it's not known if units are currently on patrol. Here's one video of the looting. The same news outlet reported the following about more unfortunate illegal activity taking place during the hurricane. One teenager was shot by a deputy and another was taken into custody while deputies were investigating a burglary of a South Florida home during Hurricane Irma, deputies said. Out-of-town homeowners alerted Broward Sheriff's Office deputies about 3 a.m. Saturday that their home surveillance system had captured video of burglars inside their Weston home. At least one deputy fired at one suspect outside the home, injuring him. The teen was taken to Broward Health Medical Center with non-life-threatening injuries. Another suspect was taken into custody without incident. The deputy involved in the shooting wasn't injured. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement is investigating the deputy-involved shooting. KMBC News 9 reported similar occurrences. A broken window of a shoe store was just one of the images that showed the chaos in some Florida communities as police reported arrests while Hurricane Irma moved toward the state's west coast. Alleged looting and violations of curfews, meant to prevent crimes and ensure safety, surfaced Sunday as the deadly storm continued its path. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, police reported Sunday that nine people were arrested for looting. They also reported two 28-year-old men each face six counts of burglary from overnight. Fort Lauderdale looters allegedly took sneakers from a footwear store there, WSVN reported, citing police. Some shoes were left scattered in front of a broken window. Palm Beach County authorities said at least 45 people have been arrested after a 3 p.m. Saturday curfew was imposed. Officials announced the curfew as a safety measure and to prevent looting and other crimes. 
They say some of those arrested could face other charges, such as drug possession or drunken driving. The curfew will be lifted after a storm damage assessment is done. Videos also showed people allegedly taking items from stores. On a more serious note, state police all throughout Florida are escorting fuel trucks to gas stations near evacuation routes ahead of the hurricane. It was Governor Scott who indicated he had asked the military to accompany different tanker ships that were bringing in emergency supplies as people began to flee because of the hurricane. He said, we are aggressively working around the clock to bring more fuel to Florida gas stations. We have asked fuel companies to identify ships that are en route to our ports so we can arrange military escorts to get them here faster. He concluded, for gas stations in evacuation zones, we need you to stay open as long as possible so people can get out. We will arrange police escorts for your employees so they can get out safely. We need your gas stations to stay open as long as possible. It is sad and disheartening that we sincerely have to worry about these things during times of natural disasters. Instead of working together in the most efficient and productive way leaders and politicians have to implement extra measures because lawbreakers want to take advantage of people in their time of need. It is an absolute disgrace. There is no denying that. We don't need no